Combining relations and rollups in your Notion workspace can make it extremely powerful. Let's dive in and I'll show you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to build it right from scratch so you can build along with me. To start with, we're going to create two tables, a project table and a task table. Then we're going to create a relation between those two tables. I personally like labeling the relation, the table it's going to, just so I know what it's referencing. For those of you that understand how relations and rollups work, I'm going to show you at the end of this video how to roll up a rollup. So stick around for that one. Once we've filled out some data in both of the projects, we can then start relating projects to tasks. You can make that relation from both databases. So if you go into the task database, you'll see the projects. If you go into the projects database, you'll see the tasks. When you're relating those things, you can actually see the properties in that dialog box that comes up. Now what we're going to do is create a rollup in the projects database. Essentially what I want to do is I want to know how many tasks there are in this specific project. Obviously for this example you can see that there are three, but if there are loads of different tasks, we can make a rollup that just gives us that number straight away. The first thing we need to do is select the relation we're going to roll up. In this case, we've only got tasks. Then we need to select the property and the property is related to the related database. So it's looking at the properties from the tasks database. And then we need to tell it what to do with that information. In this case, I want it to count all. So what this has done is it's gone to the task database, looked at the name property that is related to project one and counted how many there are. And that works all the way down for all of those projects. Now, if we wanted to see how many of those tasks were completed, we can also do that with a roller. But first we need to go down to the task database, put in a checkbox, say we've completed task one. Now when we create that rollup, we still want to relate it to the task database, but we're now going to look at the done property, and now we're going to look at the checked boxes. So it's going to count how many checked boxes are in that project. And you can see as you check the boxes, that number will change. You can use a rollup in many different ways, and it's actually quite useful to use rollups when you want to grab specific numbers. So if we put a load of numbers into the task database, this could represent the price of a product or how much money you're spending on something. Then when we go into the rollup, we can look at the task relation, look at the number property, and then sum it. So now we have the sum of all of those tasks that are related to that project. Now if we were looking at the task instead of the project and we wanted to know how many tasks were in the project that specific task was in, we would need to do a rollup in the task database. If we go to the task database and create a rollup with the project's relation and then count all, now we're counting all of the tasks related to the project that the task is currently in. So you can see task one is in project one and there are three tasks in that project. That means I can see the total amount of tasks in the project when I'm in the task rather than having to be in the project. So as you can see, when we open up that task, you can see that information there instead of having to go to the projects to find that out. Now say we wanted that sum rollup that we did in the projects database, but we wanted to see it in the task database. We'd create a rollup, go to project relations, but when we try and select the property, we can't select a rollup property. So what we can do is go back to the projects database, create a formula, and all we're going to do is essentially make a copy of that rollup. So whenever the rollup changes, the formula changes. Now when we go back to the task database, now we can select that formula as a rollup. So now we're rolling up the rollup that we created in the projects, but we're actually rolling up the formula copy of the original rollup. Now when you change the number, the sum rollup in the projects database changes, the formula changes, and the rollup in the task database changes. Maybe you want to add a progress bar onto your projects or into your tasks. If that's something you're interested in, check this video out over here and I'll see you there.